Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dexter Darden from the new Save by the Bell. What's up, guys? My name is Mitchell Hogue. I play Mac Morris. Hi, I'm Alicia Pascual Peña, and I play Aisha Garcia. Hi, I'm Hasquita Velasquez. I play Daisy Jimenez, and we're hanging with J14. Yeah, so I'm, I, I grew up watching Saved by the Bell on Saturday mornings. Um, you know, like with the Saturday morning cartoons, but they were the only live action. You know, it was a little bit before my time, but when I was growing up, the reruns were still playing in the college years. It just started coming on television. So I grew up just loving Zach and Kelly and being in love with their relationship and wanting to be like Slater, having a crush on, you know, Lisa Turtle. So uh, all of those things. Saved by the Bell definitely impacted me in a major way in terms of style, fashion. You know, they were just the coolest kids you wanted to be in high school. So when you're kind of painting that, picture for yourself they were they were a pretty good model my parents definitely were fans of the show and they watched it almost like religiously my dad really thought he was mario lopez uh almost to an embarrassing extent i would say um but yeah i i did catch you know the episodes if they were on and airing and what every time i think about the show i think about the iconic theme song um, and everyone around, you know, when I told them that I was going up for the Royal but he's like, oh my gosh, I grew up on that show. I grew up on this show. Everyone around me knows the show. And it's, it's such an iconic show. I think everyone kind of knows it, you know? I don't think I've met somebody that, that, ha that has been like, hmm, what, what show is that? Yeah, I definitely grew up as a fan of the show. It was something that I catch rerunning in the morning in my house. Um, so I definitely have distinct memories of sitting crisscross applesauce in front of the TV watching Saved by the Bell on a Saturday or Sunday morning. So it's kind of crazy to think that I have went from watching a show and loving it um, as a kid catching reruns and then fast forward, I'm on this show. It's, it's wild. I never thought in a million years, oh yeah, I'd be sitting in that max, you know. I wasn't born yet, so I actually did not watch it at all. Um, I was familiar with it and I, I knew that it was this cultural moment, but I actually didn't watch it when I was younger. I actually didn't watch it. I did not want to copy anything that that Mark did in the original. And so I wanted to kind of have my own take on it. So I watched a lot of, there's a YouTube series called Zach Morris is Trash. And I watched a lot of that. We all did, the whole cast did. And, um, and I got a lot from that, but, but I didn't go back and watch. I was getting on a plane to go to New Mexico to film a movie and I got the call and um, it was, I feel like it's one of those just kind of like surreal moments. Like you don't really know how to act. Um, of course, overly excited, but you also start calling a bunch of people and telling them and all, and all of that. So it was surreal, absolutely surreal. I do remember what I was doing. I was actually sitting on my couch in my living room um, and even when I got the first script for the first audition, I was like, you know what? I think, I think this is, this, this seems like me. Like this is the, honestly, Devante is the closest character I've ever played to myself on television or anything I've ever done. So it kind of felt right. Um, but I had just landed from Egypt the day of my screen test. My mom and I just flew back from Egypt and um, I went into the audition room. I did the thing. I got home. I laid down on my couch about to pass out after like a 36 hour travel day exhausted and I get a call from my managers and my agent and I pick up and they're like, so saved by the bell. And I was like, yeah, and like you got it. And I was like, what? So I thought I was dreaming and then I woke up and then it happened and then it's the real deal. And now I'm sitting here with J14. So it's pretty cool. When you're stepping into a show like saved by the bell, it's really, really difficult to you, well, it's not difficult, but you put a sense of pressure on yourself. You know, you want to make sure that you're honoring them and doing the best you can to be able to bring the original show um, to life, but with this new twist. Um, but Mario, Elizabeth, you know, Mark, Paul, Tiffany, Lark, they could not have been more kind and welcoming to us and kind of ushering us into the right direction and just letting you know, like, hey, we did it before, but now it's you guys' turn to really just carry the mantle and, and pass the torch, you know? They really just said have fun with it. Like it was, I feel like it was like a hand on our back, but they weren't pushing us in any certain direction. You know, they weren't trying to dictate anything and really kind of let us have our own freedom with it and fun with it. Hey guys, thanks for watching and be sure to check out the all new Saved by the Bell streaming exclusively on Peacock November 25th.